Dear readers, understanding may be stretched beyond rational standards. Please remain confident in your uncertainty. I hope you find some truth in my inexplicable rock. You need to seek medical assistance. Absurd is not in man, nor in the world, but in their presence together. It is the only bond uniting them. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> there was an occasion for a moment's despair, Kay thought. Had he been there by chance, and not by choice. I'm here to check myself in. Well then up you come. Jeremiah? Arthur? Who is this? A new patient. Name? So neither of you obtained this gentleman's identification? Uh, I'm Kay. Acquire Kay's identification, then you are dismissed. Ignorant man dares more. So I shall gladly put up with the ignorance. Please, sit down. Um, Joseph Knightley. Uh, actually, I prefer Kay. Kay! I will call you Joseph. So, Joseph, what brings you here today? Is it a depression, anxiety, neurosis, paranoia, agoraphobia? Hmm? Tell me, why did you come here today? What the fuck is going on? Please answer question. Uh, Joseph, do you feel um, sweaty? Short and breath? Kay was to wait in this desolate place as long as he liked. But there was nothing more desperate than this freedom. This waiting. This invulnerability. Open it. Go away. True reality is always unrealistic. Oh, come on, Kay. You can do better than that. <laughs> if you could be anywhere in the world right now, where would you be? Right fucking here. She wasn't talking to you. It's just a bit of fun, okay. All right, Joseph. Where would you be? Wouldn't you rather be drinking cognac with Kafka? <laughs> the frightful voices from inside Kay's head, in themselves, formed a path to truth. I am satisfied with myself. I as in you, are satisfied with yourself. Sorry, what, what were the numbers again? From scale one to seven. One strongly disagree, seven strongly agree. Hmm? I, I don't know, I guess, I guess four. <laughs> Stop! We have not finished psychoanalysis! Illusions are more common than changes. Open it! We're 
You finally fucking open it already! <sighs> Actually, Joseph, I'll tell you what. I'll read it out for you. Frenetic and scrambled prose. No well-written Sisyphus lacks direction. It understands on a surface level the Greek. Hey, hey. You can't know that. Yes, I can, Joseph. You see, I know it the same way you knew it, huh? Because it's just fucking shit, isn't it, huh? Nothing is ever completed. Only broken off by a man's demise. <laughs> It was only since knowing me that you had any sense of purpose, she said, stressing your own nothingness. Stop it. There's no point. <laughs> I'm wasted on the roof of a fucking mental institution. I've wasted three years writing this, whatever the fuck this is. And all because of you. <laughs> oh, great, Kay. All right, go on. Get a job. Go back to uni. Who's going to remember you for that? No one! <laughs> and what'll that make you? No Nothing. <laughs> 50 50, it's all not real. You can't do this to me, Kay. Oh my god, this. Kay, Kay, please don't. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Joseph! You fucking did it, mate! Huh? You deserve a drink. Mom? No. Oh, I can't. Mm. Oh. Here we oh. are. Oh, now you're a fucking vet! <laughs> <hands and laughs> what are you gonna fucking do? And too much in love to say goodnight. Here we are in the Joseph! Joseph, I have been looking for you all evening. You must finish psychoanalysis. No. I'm gonna go home. This felt like a really big event in Kay's life. When in reality, it meant nothing at all. Each atom of that stone, each mineral flake of that night, in itself forms a world. The struggle itself towards the heights is enough to fill a man's heart. It's absurd. <laughs>